Come here, Joseph. How old were you when your brothers did you wrong? I was 17 years old. I was, I was, the, I was the apple of my daddy's eye. And I know I was young and foolish, and I start talking about the stars and, 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 the, moon, and the stars falling down and the moon and the, and the sun bowing down to me. I was foolish, but I couldn't help. God gave me a vision. I didn't know how to speak it. I just said it. I was foolish. What did they do to you? Well, they tricked me. They stripped me of my daddy's special coat, and, and they put me in a ditch, sold me off. At the age of 17. And I didn't see those rascals until I was 34 years old. But I went to hell. I was from the pit to, 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 to from the pit to, to, to Potter's house, from Potter's house to the pit, and from the pit to the palace. And when my brothers came to me seeking food from me, they didn't, didn't recognize me because God had changed me from the inside to the outside. And I didn't hold what they had done to me, uh, to me because I realized that God's been good to me. I, 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 I married a black woman by the name of Asenath. And I, we named our first child and my second child after my trouble. She helped me to forget my problems. She helped me to forget about my troubles. And when I saw my brothers, I didn't recognize, they didn't recognize me, but I recognized them. And I told them, what you did to me, God meant it for, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Help me, Holy Ghost. You never done anybody wrong. You never did anything that offended anybody else, and yet God forgave you. And you have the utter audacity to come into the presence of God and hold a grudge and not forgive anybody else who have done you wrong when God has forgiven you. Shame on yourself. Those who have the heart of God know how to talk to other folk with love, compassion, and pity because they realize that's how God has received them. And when we talk to people and do, uh, do your words and the tone of your words reflect Christ. Let me stay right here because I need to say this. I'm just saying it to say it because I'm at the text. When we get into our ministries, I know there's a lot of attitudes. Let the tone of your words reflect compassion and pity for your fellow believers. Help me, Holy Ghost. I, I ain't... I, don't say, who told pastor something? Pastor don't, you always trying to want to know what I'm saying. I got cameras in every section of the building. I'm like the CIA, I just push the button and it opens up and I can see. From the kitchen to the office to the classroom. Go ahead now. Let your words and the tonality of how you say what you say. Speak love. 